Hey everybody, this is Christopher Mink for EverythingWM.com and today we are unboxing the Samsung Focus, uh, which is one of the first Windows Phone 7 devices that's available on AT&T starting today. Uh, it's $199.99 with a two-year agreement. Um, no commitment pricing is $499 and if you're eligible for an upgrade, you know, depending on where you're at in your contract, uh, they might give you a few bucks off. In my case, they gave me a hundred bucks off. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, nothing out of the ordinary standard, uh, quick start guide. Um, something you want to notice here is just how to, how to pop the cover off. And also, um, and we'll get into it in a, a later video, but, uh, adding a micro SD card. Um, this comes with, uh, eight gigabytes of memory, which is fair, but if you're going to put a decent amount of music on it, it's not going to be enough. Um, so it's it's definitely something you'll want to consider as uh, adding a micro SD card. Um, as you can see here, it's not really a, I wouldn't say that it's a small device. It's a little bit deceiving from when you see the pictures online. Um, it's at, But it's not Droid X large. It's not one of those like, you know, Evo type phones. It's uh, somewhere in the middle. A lot of plastic construction, but uh, does not feel cheap. Um, it's got a, uh, four inch super AMOLED display. Uh, you got your volume jog buttons, your USB connectivity at the top right there. And also a 3.5 millimeter head jack. Um, you got a power button right there. And this is a dedicated camera button, uh, three hardware buttons on the front, nothing out of the ordinary. And, um, as you can see there, there's a sign that says, please back up your data before inserting the memory card. Uh, the catch with these phones is that if you um, are going to put a micro SD card in, you kind of want to put it in the beginning because it kind of nukes all your data. And I don't know how it works, but basically the operating system must share the the, the data once it's the uh, storage once it's in there. So anyway, that's all. That, let's some uh, we'll have a, another video on how to do that. But anyway, you've got uh, standard uh, stereo headsets and. Yeah, they got some of those different things depending on what size ears you have you can use those different uh connectors travel charger nothing out of the ordinary there uh you've got your usb cable which in turn can plug into the travel charger and charge your phone um and finally a battery exciting right and if you notice here, um, you just pull up the back and it kind of snaps off. It's, I don't know, it's kind of awkward, but it's 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 not terrible to, to really access. And we'll just peel the back off there. Uh, this is an all plastic construction. Um, not much I can really say about the the side, the, the way it the way it looks really on the back, but the display here is the highlight. And unfortunately, we're we're only going to take it to the to the setup screen because. Uh, we filmed we did not have um, everything set up but you'll just you'll get an idea of the size of the device and we've got the iPhone 4 here so um, as you can see the Samsung focus is uh, is a much bigger device and uh, we'll just uh, compare just the uh, the size of the two devices here and see if we can give you a back view um, as you can see that the focus, the focus probably weighs, it even feels lighter than the iPhone 4. Um, here's the Nexus one, which is a little bit, I guess, uh, a little bit longer than the iPhone 4 and still not as long as the, uh, the Samsung focus, uh, similar, the, in the, the display actually looks a little bit similar, uh, both AMOLED displays. And here we have the Palm Pre Plus, which, um, obviously looks a, a lot different in size in, in terms of just the display size. Um, and just looking at this, uh, getting a little bit of a close up here, uh, it is uh, a fingerprint magnet. I uh, do like the styling on the side with the, the silver, um, kind of looks a little bit like uh, reminiscent for me, uh, the Blackberry Bold, um, but it looks good. And uh, that's been it. Thanks for joining us.